Okay, so I'm back over here with the Steiner. I need to figure out why this darn thing is not wanting to um, engage the belt. And this belt almost seems like it could be too loose. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to start it and spin. See if this will spin. If it don't, then we got problem. So it talks about a belt tensioner, and that is this guy here. But then it, I saw a picture of this guy down here, okay? Hmm. Huh. I don't know exactly, but I see we're hooked to a spring that's back here. So maybe by, oh, I don't know. I don't know how you would, would adjust that. Hmm. I thought it was up here that you adjusted it, but this belt ain't even doing nothing. According to the clutch, um, this belt is just sitting idle. So, um, I don't know if it didn't get adjusted when, uh, it got took off a couple years ago or what happened. And I see that one's about ready to, to blow apart right there. So, yeah, we might be getting a new belt one of these days. But, first things first, we gotta figure out how to get rid of this uh, belt here. Um, I think I know how you do that, is you take it off of here first. Okay, you do that. Hmm. Okay, so this, the spring is there. That keeps tension on that. Oh, I see how this works. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. So, I'm going to have to get this uh, atten uh, belt attachment drive belt off of here, and we'll get this belt off of here, measure it, make sure it is 47 inches, and we will bring you guys on a back. Okay, so... Let me do some thinking here. Let's see if I push down on that there. Get that off. All right, like that. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. So that makes sense, but 
as it comes this way, this belt does not get any looser. Okay, so that's on a slide, and that adjusts the tension for this going this way. Going here, capping. I could just start the tractor in. Um, let the belt just fall off. But that wouldn't be a very good thing to do. But to get off of here. Hmm. Now you definitely don't want to go and rip it because um oh, that belt is rather expensive. Let me see what do I got going on here? And there's the belt. Okay, I got that belt off. Oh, do, do, do. I need a tape measure. I realistically should. Um. No. I had toolbox. That's right. That is correct, Dimundo. Okay. Just like that. I need to clean this in the worst way possible, but yeah, when I clean something, um, it stay clean. Um, I kind of use this space, um, for like a catch-all, um, and I don't like that. I like things to be put in its appropriate spot. Um, <laughs> where that is, I don't know. Um, Dad and I kind of both use this area. Um, I realistically should start a file for instruction books and things like that. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Um, but that is... What all has happened? Um, need my tape measure, I need the belt. How in the world did these things get all wrapped up around? To kingdom come and then back around again. I have no, no clue. Put that thing there. Turn some lights on. Forty-seven. What in the world? Um. Yeah. So I need a belt. That is. Oh. Uh, eighteen inches. I need an eighteen-inch belt. Okay, I wonder if 
Oh, let me take you out here. I wonder if the previous owner left me with an 18 inch belt. Probably didn't, but that is how life goes. Uh, what do we have here? Blah, blah, blah. I want a belt size. I don't want all this mumbo jumbo. Is this an 18 inch belt? It looks wider or longer than 18 inch. Just a skosh, just by a skosh. So I'm gonna put this belt on and we're gonna see what happens. So there's like a whole bunch of other belts and everything that, that she left here. There is a chart there. I believe that might be a size chart. I don't know. Uh, she left this power strip here when she moved. And just a whole bunch of other giblets, pieces, parts. Um, so I'm going to save the paper though so that way we, we can get another belt. Um, provided this be the correct one. Which now I'm kind of having my doubts. Okay, so I'm trying to put you guys somewhere where I have room to work and you guys can see what is going on all at the same time. Um, I have a feeling that um, this feels like a whole lot thinner belt, but I'm not sure. You never know what could happen. Let's see. Okay, that is going on too easy. Um, let me see. That is going on too, too easy. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. Ouch! We better not be playing with screwdrivers. Nope, nope, nope. Actually, let me try something. And do this another way. Because I can and will. Put it on here first, like such. Okay, it is on there. It is on there. I'll put it back behind that little guy there. And I don't know if this is gonna. I don't know if this one's gonna work. Hmm. This one might even be too long. But I need to put this other belt on. Like as such. And just everything. Where it needs to be. I don't know about that. It might just do the same darn thing, but you. <clears throat> Did I get. Oh, I must have got that too far back on that pulley. Yeah, I don't know if this. I don't think this belt's gonna work, guys. You know what? You never know. Unless you don't try. And that is what we're gonna do. I, sh I shouldn't be able to do that. This ain't the right belt. Crud. This 
Yeah, this ain't the right belt. Darn it. Um. Okay. Yeah, this ain't. Yeah, this not the right belt, guys. Um. Yeah. I don't know, maybe the stupid thing will work. Let me try it. Ouch. Let me try it once here and we will see. If it works, good. If it don't, then we'll try another belt. Negativo. So that is the incorrect belt. I'm gonna take that off and we'll find another one. What do you guys think? Does that look any smaller? I think it does. We're gonna give her a shot. Didn't exactly know what was wrong with this Steiner. Um, from the get-go, I thought maybe something had broke with this. But, um... I wasn't sure. You know something is up when a belt goes on way too easy. I'm hoping this one goes on a little bit harder. It's a little bit thinner, but it's not like we use the tractor all the time. So as long as it gets us by, um, We'll be good to go. You're gonna get caught on every darn thing, aren't you? I always like to start, and I actually they believe you're supposed to do it this way, is uh, start with the attachment end first. Um, or not the attachment end, the, uh, what do you call it? The attachment drive end. Um, and then you just take, take your belt like a such, and you just kind of, I don't know, work it on there the best you can. Um, I don't know why this thing is putting up a fight already but hey it is what it is um it's probably because it is stiff it has been sitting in the package for a long while and um it has not been used until now i'm gonna put it on this tractor and See what happy ons. Put it around like that. I'm probably doing this wrong. I'm sure there's somebody out there that is going to critique me in everything that I do and say. Or this might be too tight of a belt. I don't know. I'm starting to think. He. He. Maybe. We got too tight of a belt. Pooey. Actually, no. I just <laughs> had to slide that little guy over. Oh, you are so close. And you have no more adjustment. Urgh. Hey! Then... Actually, you know what? You leave them in. Then you... 
Shaka, Yerna. Like that. You walk your belt. Yep. There goes my tools. I ain't the world's cleanest mechanic. No. Oh. You are going to be a pain. You came off. You need to go back on. Oh my goodness, come on. I did this myself, guys. I screwed up. <sighs> hmm. But I'm curious to see if this belt will turn. Let's hold that thought. So it turns. Good deal. Now I just got to figure out how to get this one here uh, hooked up because it's wanting to fight me. And Okay, so that guy is adjustable. Not by much. Hmm. Let me see, what are we adjusting here? like doing brakes on a dump truck and then um yeah should be able just to take and shove that guy oh just like that and jeepers creepers how did i i'm guessing holy jumping is this thing tight boys Man, I don't remember this being this tight, do you? Because, because I sure don't. Um, yeah, this didn't change a bit. And this didn't change. Why is this thing... wanting to fight me now? Oh. That I have no clue why this thing wants to fight me. I don't like when things put up a fight. I want things to move smoothly. Mm, you gotta back this thing off all the way, maybe? I mean, I see it does have threads. Okay, and it is backing out because I'm visually seeing with my eyes that it is getting closer to the tire. Maybe you do it like that. Come over here, and I do believe this is how you do this, is you just keep running that guy Oh, so that's how you do that. 
after having this tractor for all these years and me not knowing this? Dang. The only thing is, we're starting to hit the tire now. So, I'm starting to think that that. Okay. Just like that. Then that comes over there, that drops down. Like that, and I watch you smash my finger. Because I don't know what I'm doing. So this needs to be two and a half inches with the belt installed and we are at like four inches. So, oh yeah, we got some figuring out to do. So what I need to do is turn this guy in clockwise all the way. And then what that does is tightens mucho belt or yep it tightens belt okay so I know what I'm doing now we'll run this in as far as we can and then we will see if belt is tight when we get done it's a rather slow process but we'll get it yeah piss on it i'm dealing with it another day so yeah i'll catch you guys next time uh thanks for watching well we got the machine back in service. I had it 90% fixed. I had the belt on. We put the original belt back on it. Dad and I did, and it just it just needed adjusted. Um, and that was something that I was not sure about. Um, but it is all fixed now. Um, so yeah i like i said i was 90 percent right and i blocked my machine from running over me safety first so hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching